Hello. How are you? Thank you for joining me on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And uh, how was your weekend? I know we're out of it, but how was your weekend? Was it good? Good. Glad to hear that. Um, Pigeon Forge is, and Gatlinburg are packed with people. I'm not really sure why. It's early in the week and just don't, I mean, there isn't anything really going on that I am aware of, but people are here. It's the vacation. Well, I understand. It's a spring break, and the kids are out, and the parents want to get away, and they're here vacation. So we got uh, at least four more weeks of that. And then, of course, we got the rod run coming up 18th through the 20th. And, and then after that, it's, it's a free-for-all. It really is a free-for-all. <laughs> Oh, I need to, I need to put this in. Sorry. So, I'm so sorry. There. Gotta put the microphone in. Doesn't that help? Yeah, that helps. Makes it a little bit clearer. All right? All right. So. I'm in Pigeon Forge. Okay, you're gearing up, right? You're getting all ready for the end of the world, right? I mean, that's what they keep saying on YouTube and TikTok or anywhere. They're gearing up. So I'm going out today. I'm stocking up. I'm going to get a pallet of toilet paper because that's the first thing you do when the end of the world comes. You make sure you got a lot of toilet paper, Slim Jims, and uh, energy drinks, neither of which, which I eat or use. But I'm going to be prepared. I'll have something to barter with the, the regular folk. You got, man, you got Slim Jims? Yeah, it happened to have, but it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. It, it is amazing because now all the tactical gear, I don't know if you pay attention to TikTok and YouTube and stuff, but now that, that's the big push is tactical gear, tactical flashlights, tactical bug out bags, um, anything you can think of, flares, how to make a fire and all that. Look. If it is the end of the world, I'm taking off all my clothes and I'm going to stand on the deck because I don't want to be here when all that crap goes on. I, I just am not looking forward to that. This light sucks here. It lasts all of five seconds. Could somebody please, in Pigeon Forge, at the intersection of 321 and 431, could you please increase the turn signal light a few more seconds? Three cars got through. Three. I mean, there's a guy that does that for a living. That's what he gets paid to do. Could you? Could you put the donut down and do your job? Unbelievable. So you're gearing up. You got everything you need, right? You're going to run to your basement, if you happen to have a basement or a dungeon, and you're going to be ready because when you open up your door uh, after the eclipse, the devil comet, the rockets to the, the, rockets to the moon, yeah, NASA's going to be firing off three rockets to what they claim is do scientific study. Now, three, one isn't enough, but still, you keep messing with the moon. You cause any problems to the moon, you have no idea the hell the world would have to pay for that. You move that moon even a fraction of the inch. It'll cause global warming like you've never seen, or global freezing. So, and then what else is there going? Oh, then, of course, the big one. The big one. The Hadron CERN Collider, you know, where they, they, they collide atoms together. They're going to, that day, everything for some reason is happening the same day as the lunar, the solar eclipse. They, uh... And people are saying, I remember they said this when they first fired off the CERN collider, um, that it would open up a portal to hell and that all the demons would come out. Now, I'm no expert on this. I never worked at the Hadron Collider. I never, don't really want to. But what happens if they, now this is the part I don't understand. They want to create the 
God particle. Why? Who's going who's gonna to play God now? Right? Because if somebody gets that particle, what are they going to do with it? And if they do get it, what are they going to do with it? What is it they're trying to do? Are they trying to create something? I guess God does all that. And But if it opens up a portal to hell, I don't think you got to worry if you have a, um, a technical light. <laughs> it's going to melt in hell. I, I don't know. I don't know. All this crazy stuff going on. What is, what is wrong with the world? I, I ask myself that every single day. But I don't get a clear answer. I don't think you do either. Let's take a look around here. Around here. What's going on around here? And let's see what's going on. This is Pigeon Forge. This is Community Center Drive. I just passed the intersection of 321 and Parkway. And there is um, there is traffic. There's people around. I noticed the RV parks are bulging with RVs. Stores are all packed. All the stores are doing well. The attractions are packed. I mean, just look at all the um, the restaurants we're going by. They're full. They're absolutely full. So we'll um, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks, but. Wait, it may it all it may all be for naught after the eighth, seventh, and the eighth, because they were saying now that the eclipse is supposed to take three days long to clear. That's bullshit. That is not true. At most, from start to finish, it would be around two two and a half hours. That's it. But you got these these boneheads that love to stir the pot and see if people are going to panic. I don't understand it. <clears throat> I don't know where they get off on this, but you're putting people into a panic. And I see it in the stores, because when I go around, I'm just doing my thing, and I'm seeing people loading up on the batteries and flashlights and anything they get their hands on. It, it, this happens every so often that people go into the meltdown mode and they... They just don't know what to do. So they're running around sating themselves, hoping that they feel better when they go home because they've got, you know, the survival food box. You know, three months of survival food. Your kids will love opening these foil packages and getting freeze-dried beans. That's what you're going to eat for eternity for until all this clears up. No thanks. No thanks. See, I mean, look at the traffic on the left. Look at that. They're coming in. It's early in the week. They're coming in. Pretty interesting, huh? Okay. Have to stop at the bank. Take care of business. Did that. And the traffic continues. You can see it. And it's going to continue. <clears throat> so I was talking with the uh, the teller at the bank, the guy that's there, and I said, "You prepared for the end of the world?" And he goes, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> I don't. I guess not a lot of people know. You know, it's it's all over, but the crying kids, right? Now, weather today, it's um, mostly cloudy, 69 degrees, beautiful, beautiful weather, 69 degrees, mostly cloudy. Um, it was supposed to be, uh, I stand corrected now, thought it was supposed to be 80 degrees today and sunny, but that hasn't happened yet. Now, maybe a little later on, the sun will be going down anyway, um, it may warm up a bit, but I, I think they got that one wrong, but the next few days... Don't put away your winter clothes. If you're coming up here to the Smoky Mountains, don't put away your winter clothes. Because the next three days, at best, the highs will be in the 50s, low to mid 50s, and overnight lows, depending on where you are within the sound of my voice, in the 30s, lower 30s to mid 30s. So it got a cold snap rolling through here. So if you're coming up, make sure you bring 
some winter clothes with you if you're coming from the southern states and you think you're going to walk around in a t-shirt guess again cupcake you're going to need some winter clothes but if you should happen to forget some stop in at any one of our locations the goat coaster 1341 where's valley road goats on the roof right there at the intersection of parkway 321 and the brand new store Pigeon Forge Traders, right across the street from McDonald's in Pigeon Forge. Can't miss it. Look for the dinosaurs, the animatronic dinosaurs. You'll be greeted by two of them right as you pull in the driveway. Yuppers! Bring the kids. Great photo op. And you can pick up your hoodies there. They still have for, a, I don't know how much longer. Hoodies. Quality hoodies. First quality hoodies. Most of them are monogrammed. They're not rubberized, and they are, um, embro uh, what do you call that? Yeah, I guess it's called embroidered. Yeah, I guess. But they're stitched in. It's not, <clears throat> not the cheapo, cheapo flea market stuff. And you can get them one for 25 or two for 40 These are sweatshirts, hoodies, that in Gatlinburg and other places, even in Pigeon Forge, they go for $49, same exact shirt from the same exact delivery people. Same shirt, top quality. One for 25, two for 40. Take advantage of that, my friends. Do take advantage of that. See uh, another motorhome. I've passed quite a few since I paused. A lot of people coming in, taking advantage. I guess they want to get in all, all their vacation before the end of the world. You know, I, I would too. You know, now's a good time to, uh, if you have some days stocked up wherever it is you work, if you work, that uh, take those vacation days. You're going to need them. Okay, heading into Sevierville now. We're actually in Sevierville. Beautiful little town. You know, and I forgot to add to the mix of the end of the world is we've got now, uh, they're calling for on TikTok and YouTube, World War III is re about ready to, to happen. So if the eclipse wasn't bad enough and the Devil Comet and the rockets to the moon, now we got World War III and the CERN Collider. So, oh, there's the red lights of love there too. They're getting ready for the the big event. There it is. Oh God! You can't, <clears throat> you can't let this stuff get to you. One thing you don't do is panic. Okay? There's nothing you can do. If all of this is to come to fruition, there's no place to hide. There's no grain of sand small enough for you to hide under. No cave deep enough. No. Oh, that's nice. Super wilderness. I like that. Too expensive for me. Thought about it, but I said, nah, $42,000, nah, I don't like the car that much. Happy with the Outback. Miss Marie is, I should say. I started Ethel up yesterday. That's my car. Started up, let her run for a little while, make sure the battery's charged. Crank right over. No problem at all. I mean, it's just sitting there waiting to go. I'm heading up to Bargain Barn. Hey, have you been to Bargain Barn? If you're coming up to the Smoky Mountains, that's the place to stock up on everything you need for your getaway. If you're staying in an RV park, or you're staying in a cabin, or staying wherever it is you're staying, even a hotel, they've got everything you need there. The stuff that you would normally go to the big box stores for and pay high dollars for, you get it cheap there. Bargain Barn. 
right next to Lowe's in Sevierville, which we're heading to right now. You stay on this road, stay on 66, slash Parkway, slash Winford Dunn, all these names, same road, and you can get all the cool things you need for a fraction of the price of the big box stores. But I know when all is said and done, I'll have all the toilet paper I'll ever need, even though I use a bidet now. I love my bidet. Upstairs and downstairs. I love it. I have noticed a tremendous reduction in toilet paper usage. A tremendous reduction. So right there, I'm saving money. While everyone else is looting the stores, stocking up on paper towels, I'll have a bidet. That's right. I'll be squeaky clean. Okay, so let's see. I just left Bargain Barn. Got all the goodies I needed. Had to go to Staples. Had to make copies of some documentation. And then I realized that the other day, I, I mentioned this on a show, but I don't know if I put it on the, the video or not. When I went into Gatlinburg the other day, my light went on and I needed gas. So I stopped in at the BP, which just so happened, this BP is right across the street. I don't know if you can see it. But it's there. And their gas is $2.99. $2.99 if you have a BIP card. But I don't have a BIP card. So in Gatlinburg, it was $3.89. A dollar more a gallon. Can you imagine that? A dollar more, a dollar more, not five cents, ten cents, a dollar more. Two eighty nine here. If you have the card, or two ninety nine if you don't have the card. And there it was three eighty nine. I, I couldn't believe it. That's a dollar more. That's ridiculous. Got somebody here that kind of broke down. It happens. It happens. All these gas stations are $2.99. This one here is $2.89. Murphy Express, $2.89. It's right there. A dollar more in Gatlinburg. My suggestion to you, my friends, you know I'm all about saving money. Fill up in Sevierville. It's always cheaper here than it is even in Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge is 309. That's the cheapest I've seen. So you can save 10 cents more if you just come up a couple of three miles into Sevierville. But you can save a dollar more if you don't buy any gas in Gatlinburg. And I got stuck putting it in there and go, man, I just got ripped off. At least you could take me out to dinner, give me a card, a dozen roses or something. Absolutely insane. When I drive through Sevierville or Pigeon Forge, I always have my headlights on and my driving lights. Now you say, why would you do that, Jeff? That's to alert the people coming at me, I'm coming at them, and the people next to me, if they just do a partial glance in their mirror, they'll see that I am there. Otherwise, they won't see the normal everyday driving lights. Because it happens all the time to me. They'll just weave over. Now I got, you know, four lights, bright lights, beaming at them. I hope that they see them. You know, I hope. <laughs> you never know. You never know. This is the bypass. Now I'm back out on 66, heading in the direction of Gatlin Boy. I'm not going to Gatlin Boy. But I'm heading in that direction, so you kind of get your bearings. 
Socorro is on your left. Best buffet you will ever go to. I guarantee it. As soon as you start getting close to Pigeon Forge, the gas goes up. It's 319 at the shell. Won't be getting gas there. Three nineteen at the good stop. 319 at the other good stop. So you see the difference? Right there, 20 cents. And I just went, what, three lights. <laughs> and if I was going, I don't need gas, I got full tank. I could save 20 cents or I could save a dollar a gallon. That's some serious savings. Now we're officially in Pigeon Forge. Just went over the Little Pigeon River, and here we are, where all the attractions are. Well, at least this concentration of attractions. Hard Rock, Fly Ride, Beyond the Lens, Hatfields and McCoys, Wonder Works, Titanic, and the traffic. This is where it all bottlenecks right into. Now on an event day, it'll be all the way back to 40. And that, that is no joking. During Rod Run and uh, Jeep Fest and all that, that, this traffic will be all the way back to 40. Just the way it is.
Well, I hope you enjoyed our little drive today. I just left Kroger. I was at Walmart earlier. Really, she's got me running around, that girl. That girl, my wife. I pick up certain things so she could cook. Anyway, sometimes I like to treat myself with a hot dog. I like a good hot dog. I never buy cheap hot dogs. They're really bad for you. So many nitrates, so much sodium in them. It's really bad for my blood pressure. So I usually get either uh, Sabret or Hebrew National. I check them both out at Kroger and at Walmart. Just let you know. I noticed something really weird. Now their prices are $6.99 for a standard package of hot dogs. I believe there's eight. But I looked at it, looked at it again, looked at it again. There's six. No more eight. Doesn't. So now when you buy the buns, you got two extra buns. I go, what the hell is this? Then I noticed the hot dogs were an inch smaller. I go, I don't want wieners. I was looking for hot dogs. And the ones that are normally a normal bun size or just a little shy of that, they, they didn't look any bigger than that, which is... Uh, I was shocked. So when you're shopping check the packaging because I have noticed in the past the packaging is getting smaller so is the content look at the net weight and you'll notice you're getting sometimes a third less than what you got before really bad and, and I didn't vote for them all right but you guys you can vote them back in for another four years and pretty soon for a loaf of bread you'll be paying 50 bucks because loaves of bread are five bucks when was the last time you remember loaves of bread being five bucks. I'm talking regular bread. I'm not talking specialty bread. Remember that. Whether you like a person or not, what is going to be best for you and your family? Try to try to get that personal stuff out of your head because it shows your ignorance. All right? We all don't like this guy because uh, he said things. Well, they both say things. <laughs> Which one's going to do you better for four years? All I know is what we got now is going to really put us in some deep, deep crap. Anyway, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate that. So would Miss Marie. And uh, thank you for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And I will see you again very, very soon. Have a great day.